How you doing guys? So this is a brief walkthrough of what Platform 808 is. So the idea behind Platform 808 is basically, you know, early on in your career as a DJ or a producer, you probably won't get the support from sort of a managing agency or a booking fee or a PR company. That tends to come later on once you're sort of like, you know, touring successfully as a DJ and sort of making good money because obviously the cost of having management and PR as such um, that all costs so you can only really afford that once you are really earning sort of decent money as a DJ so early on in your career your presentation can be pretty lacking so the idea of platform 808 is to support this area so to come up with a platform where DJs and producers can host all of their press kit um, and makes it easier for them to be found and sort of you know push their profile onto potent people that will potentially book them and i think if you have a more professional looking profile it's it's easier to sort of come across more professionally um, and that could help you sort of in you know in, in numerous ways so in terms of like the initial layout, it's very simple. We have a landing page which identifies the artists that we have so far. So we've got Dan Murray, Suat and Joe Baxter uh, and Andrea Harkin, uh, the four artists that are presently on the site. So the way the site works basically is you pay a hosting fee. That hosting fee pays for your data to be stored, um, the sort of organisation of your press kit so it all aligns and looks well uh, and also you get sort of like a forwarding email address. So you could have Dan at Platform 808, Joe at Platform 808 um, and that just gives you sort of another level of professional look, you know, in terms of having, instead of having, you know, Dan at Gmail, or, you know, so on and so forth. So that's the initial landing page. Then we have services, and this will break down all the services that we can access and support you with. So for instance, if you need press shots, we can do that, and there's a cost for press shots there. If you need an artist bio, we, we can obviously cover creating an artist bio for you. If you need a logo, if you need artwork, such as banners for Facebook, Twitter, so on and so forth. Uh, and then we have a one pager. So we'll get to what a one pager is in a minute. And then we also have like a complete package. So this is all of those things amalgamated into one. And these are the things that are absolutely essential in terms of having a professional looking press kit that's functional, that covers all the things that people in press, bookers, you know, media would, would need to see. So the services are there. If you came to Platform 808 and you didn't have any of these, you can obviously get in contact um, and we can support you with getting, to, getting those. If you do come to Platform 808 and you already have press shots, you already have a logo, we can still host your profile and that's no problem at all. So in terms of how hosting works, um, the fee basically is on a monthly basis it's $9.99 or you can pay annually which is £100 so you make a, um, a slight saving by paying it all up front sort of thing um, and with that obviously you, you know you get sort of contact with myself and upgoing support which can help you greatly if you get stuck with anything and a professional place to host your profile. Now this is specific to dance music, you know, we're not going to have any bands on here, we're not going to have anything along those lines, it's just DJs and producers and at the moment focused on the UK. So that are services we provide and a little bit about, so this just basically talks about what we can do and, and why we can do it. Um, and then you've got some blogs down here that are relevant to dance music such as how to make an electronic press kit. Because you can go and make all these elements up yourself um, and then come back to us and just host it. Or you can host it yourself. I just think having it presented in this format is more of an industry sort of recognisable format and it's more professional. So that's sort of an overview of what we're about. And what we plan to do is obviously we've got the artist hosts and that's great because obviously you can point interest towards it. But what we've also got as well is we have an Apple and a Spotify podcast. Um, and what we do is a weekly podcast show. So DJs that are featured on, um, or, or DJs that are hosted on Platform 808 can release mixes on a weekly basis. Now, this is a great way to get exposure. You can share it. And also, it's so accessible. So as you can see, officially, we're on Apple Podcast. We're also on Spotify um and you know soundcloud and stuff like that i think soundcloud particularly is is massively oversaturated if i'm completely honest hence why we took the route of using spotify and apple podcasts and i think they're more you know they're easily consumed if that makes sense uh, as opposed to soundcloud so we're on those so the djs can get a point where they can share their music which is great if you're a producer or if you're a dj now let's talk about what we actually have when we go into an artist profile. So if I click on Joe, what we find on Joe is we've got his bio here, which is easily extracted. If anyone wants to get anything to write an article on him, you've obviously got his, his headliner image there. 
And then we move down into this part here. Now these are the bits that effectively make your EPK. So we've got access to Joe's Facebook page, of course, for social media. We have access to his SoundCloud, his Instagram, his EPK, and then promo video. Here we have one of his latest mixes on SoundCloud, so it's relevant to the artist, and that's with all of the artists. We highly encourage that you have relevant music ready to go. Oh, I'm not too sure why Dan's isn't there. That's something we'll have to have a little look at and fix. Let's just make sure everyone's all good. Yeah, so that is. So we just got to look at Dan. So that might be that Dan may have taken it down or something like that. But we can we can address that. So we go back to Joe. And then the most important part is, you know, this bit here, which is the electronic press kit, which is the EPK. So you click on that, that takes you to a Dropbox folder, which is titled Joe EPK. Um, in here, we have Joe's bio in a Word document, so it can be easily extracted and manipulated. We then have access to Joe's, bio, Joe's logo in a couple of different formats, so white um, and in black. We always recommend PNG because obviously it has the transparent background, it makes it easier to stick on flyers. Then we have a one pager. So if we look at what a one pager is, this basically is an interactive PDF that covers all of the core things about Joe. So it's you know title, platform 808, got Joe's logo there, his bio is written here. And then again, we've got access to all of his socials down here, which is great. But what we also have is access to email addresses if we wanted to book him. Um, and this is really good because a PDF is very lightweight and you can just store on your mobile phone. So you've got two choices. You can either send the link to platform 808 to the person who's interested in yourself, or you can send the PDF. And the PDF is so much easier um, if you're doing sort of a mass mail out, you can just attach this and you can send it. So it's it's easier to use basically in, in sort of, if you're hitting more people at once as opposed to just copying and pasting a link and sending it loads of times. So all of this here will also lead back to, if I was to click on that EPK bit at the bottom, that will also lead back to um, this Dropbox folder. Now the reason being is your one pager, people may want to find additional images on Joe. So if they have his one pager via email, they can click the EPK and go to this Dropbox folder. If they didn't have that, they may not like the image that comes attached on the one pager. So it's good to just think about that and have that option open to people that are looking. And then we go back and then eventually you have your folder here, which is press shots. So these are a range of press shots for the artists. And I recommend to have no more than sort of five or six of these. Um, and they're just key images that you will use for going on flyers and promotion of yourself. So that kind of is an overview of platform 808. Now, as I said, the idea is to support up and coming artists. So we plan to sort of like add more and more artists to this roster as we go um, and have a combination of DJs and also producers. Because then what we can have from that point is if we have DJs making music, they can then share it with the DJs on the roster and the roster, the DJs can then play that out in turn, sort of supporting each other and supporting sort of the platform 808 um, whole, you know, sort of the initiative. You combine that with the fact that we have this Apple Podcasts and Spotify station, you know, we've got the ability to support each other on the platform and the platform will grow um, inev inevitably because of this. So yeah, hope you found that useful. If you've got any questions, give me a shout. Very happy to help as always. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all soon. Take care. Bye bye.